Hello, this feels a little extra crazy. I'm outside in a walk in the rain. It's totally raining. It's windy at times. So I hope you can hear me. My walk is really crazy on this path because I'm trying to dodge all the earthworms that are crawling. Let's see if you can see them right there. We got the running water. Oh, there goes one. Um, I don't want to kill any worms, so I try and dodge them all. And so uh, I have turned into a worm saver on like a sunny day. I'll actually get a stick and move the worms to the grass uh, because I don't want to kill them. And they get fried crispy out here in the sun. And this path that I walk on all the time gets totally covered in dead worms. And it makes me sad because I'm like, oh, I didn't save those. And today I'm just trying to avoid killing them. I'm not actually trying to actively save them from the running water and everything. Um, but I heard a great uh, sermon about the catch of fish. It was a miracle that Jesus did about telling um, the disciples in the boat to cast their nets on the other side um, that they don't typically fish in. And when they did, they caught such a huge catch of fish that um, I think it states that they were 143. And even though it was so massive, the nets didn't break. So someone pointed out that the nets not breaking was actually another miracle, that they should have, the nets should have broken, right, in catching all these fish. And, and so, um, and it was like, what about the 144th fish? You know, what if we looked at those fish as like people in our lives that we have the opportunity to preach the message of, of um, um, and saving them from eternal damnation? And, and what if it's your family member or someone you love was that 144th fish and it, it didn't get caught? And, and I look at all these worms and it's like, I think about the people in our lives that we're praying for and that we love and we care about and we want them to get saved. We don't want them to get fried crispy on the sidewalk, right? I mean, I'm not being mean by calling us worms. I'm a worm. I'm totally a worm. And I'm only saved by the grace of God, only because people prayed for me and loved and sowed into my life, did things um, behind the scenes that I didn't even know about. Um, you know, like my grandmother that always said she always prayed for me. You know, so I don't ever want to give up in my prayers for other people because you don't know if that last prayer you pray is going to be the one that rescues them, that, that gets them um, saved, that, that gets them off the hot sidewalk and, and gets them into the good life and in the good soil and in the good grass, right? Um, yeah, I just, I don't want to step on any worms. I, I don't want to actively hurt anyone. I don't want to impede anyone. You know, I, I want to help. That's all I want to do is help. And there's so many ways that we can help that we don't even realize or, or take advantage of, right? I mean, just praying is a huge help. Just saying a prayer for someone that you see in need is a huge help. Just praying for the person you see on the side of the road, you know, with a sign saying, you know, homeless, pray for them because you don't know how much good your prayer can do. Like, we just don't know... Um, we just don't know how God can use us until we actively ask to be used and try and be used and step out in faith. And I, I've been really missing walking. So I was willing to come walk in the rain. You know, sometimes you have to do the hard things. Sometimes you have to go outside your comfort zone to do something worthwhile. And, and, and it might not seem easy, but then maybe once you get out there, it's really easy. You know, other than my phone getting soaked, hopefully it won't break. <laughs> it hasn't been in my pocket this whole time. Um, you know, and then something else I was thinking about is I'm really thirsty. I didn't bring my water bottle. There's water everywhere. I'm covered in water right now. It's dripping off me. It's running all over the sidewalk right now. This sidewalk is like a little moving river. And I'm covered in water. There's water everywhere, but there's no water to drink. And sometimes it feels like that in life, you know. Everybody else is covered in success, and where's my success, you know. And you gotta go get it. You gotta go pursue it. You can't just look around to be like, I'm thirsty and not go get some water that you can drink. You can't cut, stop comparing yourself to other people. So I'm rambling and I obviously don't have my Bible out here, but Lord, help us, help us save some worms. Help us not step on some worms. Help us to, to be a light uh, shining for you. Help us to be willing to do the hard things. Help us to be willing to go outside and get wet and get dirty and get messy. Um, if, it, if it's for you and for your will and for your good. and help, Just show us your will. Show us what you want us to do. Use us. Amen.